Hello, today I'm going to share four tips on improving the function of your motorhome's sliding window blinds. I'm referring to this type of combination insect, screen and privacy blind. Blinds contribute greatly to our comfort and privacy and having smoothly working blinds is a pleasure. The four tips I have today are tip one, how to improve the smoothness of your blinds. Tip two, how to fix a blind that works well on one side but not on the other. Tip three, how to fix a blind that is locked and will not budge. And last tip, tip four, how to flip the orientation of the blind to a way that works best for you. For me, I prefer it when I have the blinds in such a way that when the sun rises in the morning, the light comes into the van, but without compromising the privacy inside as we lie in bed or while having a meal. Let me start off with tip one, how to improve the general smoothness of the blind. I found that all that was needed is some food grade silicon lubricant spray. Just spray generously along the track and you will immediately notice an improvement. Silicon spray is non-toxic, doesn't stain, and is long lasting too. Tip two, if your blind runs well on one side or part of the way, but gets stuck on the other side, it could be a very simple fix. For me, I found that adjusting and loosening some of the screws was all that was needed to get this to work again properly. So I would advise you to try that before doing anything else. Tip three, this was the most complex problem. This is when one of my blinds got completely stuck and this is how I fixed it. First, I removed the frame. To do this, just remove the rubber screw covers and then remove all the screws using a quarter screwdriver. Don't worry about doing this because I assure you that the frame comes off very easily and later when you want to put it back on again, it goes on very quickly and easily too. So after removing the frame, I placed it on a flat surface and I placed the frame on top of two timber planks, which enabled me to work on it easily. I removed the two black rails by prying off the three clips of each rail with a screwdriver. Taking a close look, I saw that one of the plastic bits designed to slide along with the leading edge of the blind had become disconnected. So by using the working side as a guide, I was able to work out where it should go. After reattaching it, all I had to do was reassemble everything back together again with the clips which were hammered back into place. Take care to position a rail carefully with a flexible weather shield slotting a little into the insect screen. When replacing the frame, remember not to over tighten it. Tip four, our van came with the blinds installed in such a way that did not give us the option to pull the privacy blind up to eye level for privacy. Luckily, this was a very simple fix. All I had to do was remove the frame and then reattach it after flipping it upside down. I'm loving this orientation, but maybe it wasn't designed to be used this way. So please check the comments below the video before doing this yourself, just in case I encounter any problems, because if I do encounter any problems, I'll be sure to mention it below. So thanks for watching. Please click and subscribe if this has been useful. And also, please don't hesitate to leave your comments below. Bye-bye.